As patients and staff evacuate Shifa Hospital in Gaza City, dozens of civilians have been killed in military strikes elsewhere. AP correspondent Karen Shamis reports. Looking onto Gaza from a distance, AP footage showed the horizon erupt into plumes of smoke as explosions could be heard in the distance. In northern Gaza, dozens of people were killed in the urban Jabalia refugee camp by what witnesses described as an Israeli airstrike. In a social media post, the Israeli military had warned Jabalia residents in Arabic to leave, saying that its troops were active in the area to target Hamas. Meanwhile, a flurry of injured people rushed into a hospital in Khan Yunis. A local doctor had reported that over 20 people had died from an Israeli airstrike on the outside skirts of the southern area of Khan Yunus. I'm Karen Chamas. Thousands of family members and supporters of some 240 hostages held in Gaza have streamed into Jerusalem on foot to castigate Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu over his handling of the war with Hamas, a U.S. designated terrorist group. The march on Saturday capped a five-day trek from Tel Aviv and marked the largest protest on behalf of the hostages since they were dragged into Gaza by Hamas militants on October 7th. Israeli leaders have declared war to crush Hamas and to bring the hostages home. Home. Some of the hostage families fear the Israeli military offensive endangers their loved ones. 41 workers remain trapped in a collapsed road tunnel in northern India for a seventh day as a new drilling machine arrived on site to replace the damaged one. The nature of the exceptionally hard rock formation in the area, coupled with the clearing of debris, damaged the original machine and paused res- rescue efforts on Friday, according to officials. This added a new challenge to the long-drawn rescue efforts. The workers have been trapped since Sunday when a landslide caused part of the tunnel to collapse. You'll find expanded coverage of world news and events at our website, voanews.com, 24 hours a day. This is VOA News. A 23-year-old Taylor Swift fan died at the Singer's Eras Tour concert in Rio de Janeiro Friday night, according to a statement from the show's organizers in Brazil. AP correspondent Julie Walker reports. The cause of death for Ana Clara Benavides has not yet been announced. The Office of Rio's public prosecutor opened a criminal investigation and said her body was being examined. But concert goers complained they were not allowed to take water into the stadium Despite the heat wave, it was 102 degrees on Friday, but felt much hotter. Federal authorities announced free water would be made available at all future concerts this weekend. In a note shared on her social media, Swift said, My broken heart goes out to her family and friends. The show's organizers said on Instagram, paramedics attended to Benavides after she reported feeling unwell. I'm Julie Walker. Leaders of the union representing Hollywood actors announced a tentative deal earlier this month with film and television studios to end a strike that started in July. It includes pay raises, streaming bonuses for actors, and the industry's first protections for actors against the use of artificial intelligence. From Los Angeles, VOA's Jinia Dulo reports. Central to the actors' strike have been compensation guidelines around the use of artificial intelligence. The proposed agreement includes protections for actors regarding the use of digital replicas of their image, says Duncan Crabtree Ireland, chief negotiator for the Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. It has to be a specific description of what the intended use is so that the the performer can make an informed decision about whether they want to agree to that or not. Each consent is for one job only. Actors have started voting on whether to ratify the labor agreement ahead of an early December deadline. Jenny Adulo, VOA News, Los Angeles. Advertisers are fleeing social media platform X over concerns about their ads showing up next to pro-Nazi content, hate speech on the site in general, or billionaire owner Elon Musk's own posts endorsing an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. IBM and Comcast said they dropped advertising on X after a report said their ads were appearing alongside material praising Nazis. It said the same of ads from Apple, Oracle, and NBC Universal's Bravo Network. The EU said Friday it is pausing advertising on X and other social media platforms, in part because of a surge in hate speech. Disney, Lionsgate, and Paramount Global also said Friday they were suspending or pausing advertising on X. Musk sparked outcry this week with posts responding to a user who accused Jews of hating white people. I'm Alexis Strope, VOA News.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.